Listen. We live in a world that's a joke. The truth is staring us right in the face and no one has the balls to talk about it. Pavel Durov, the fing genius behind Telegram, gets arrested and everyone's sitting there twiddling their thumbs like it's business as usual. You think this is random? You think these governments just decide to pick someone up for no reason? It's about control and if you don't see it, you're fucking blind. Look, I've said it before and I'll say it again. They don't want free men. They don't want you having control over your life at your money, or your privacy. Duroff built Telegram, a platform where people can speak freely, do business without Big Brother breathing down their necks, and now he's suddenly the bad guy? That's what happens when you don't play by the system's rules. They will try to crush you, frame you, jail you, anything to stop you. Think about it. What was Duroff doing? He was building something that gave freedom. And freedom in this clown world is a fucking crime. The people in power are terrified of anyone who gives men power. Telegram, it's a tool for free speech privacy for men to take back control of their lives. And that is exactly why they arrested him. You think this is about laws? You think this is about some petty crime? No. It's because Durov represents a threat to the matrix. Let me break it down for you. The system doesn't want powerful men. They don't want men who build empires who can't be controlled. They want you weak, dependent, and scared. Durov wasn't scared. He said, fuck your surveillance. He gave us a platform where people could communicate without being spied on. And that's why they went after him. Durov's arrest is an example of what happens when you try to give freedom to the masses. The Matrix will come for you. I've lived it. They've tried to take me down for the same reasons. They hate men like Durov, men like me. Because we show the world that you can be free if you stop playing their fucking game. The minute you become a threat to their control, they label you the enemy. And this is what you all need to understand. If you stand up for yourself, if you say, I'm going to live life on my own terms, if you build something that can't be controlled by the government, they'll try to destroy you. And most men fold, but the ones who don't, they're the ones who change the world. Stop thinking anyone is coming to save you. Look at what they're doing to Durov. You think some government agency or some good cop is going to stand up for him? The truth is, you're on your own, just like Duroff is on his own. But you know what? That's fine. Strong men don't need saving. Strong men build their empires and fight back. If you're sitting there crying about the government or waiting for someone to fix your problems, you're going to be stuck in this hamster wheel forever. Durov didn't wait. He didn't ask for permission to build Telegram. He said F it and built a platform that gave men power. That's the mentality you need. Be like Durov. Build something so powerful that they have to try to take you down because they're terrified of your strength. So yeah, Durov's arrested. Big thing deal. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to sit there and complain like a little BH? Or are you going to build something so fucking powerful they have no choice but to fear you too? Freedom isn't given to you. It's taken. And the second you realize that, the second you stop begging the system for scraps, is the second you become unstoppable. Men like Durov, men like me, we don't ask for freedom. We demand it. And if they want to come for us, let them fucking try. Stay free. Stay dangerous. Now let's talk about what happens next. Durov, he's not going down without a fight. But you know what's coming. They're going to squeeze him. Governments will come after him, twist every law they can to paint him as the villain. They'll try to ruin his reputation, seize his assets, and destroy everything he built. It's all a game to them. If they can't control you, they will break you. They did it with Julian Assange, with Snowden, and now it's Durov's turn. They'll frame him for everything under the sun. Money laundering, terrorism, who knows what bullshit they'll come up with next. Durov's got two options. Submit, give up Telegram, bend the knee, or disappear. Go into hiding. But you know what I think? He's too smart to just let them win. He'll move underground, shift his operations, find a way to stay relevant, because that's what men like him do. He's got the brains and the balls to outsmart them for a while. Now me, I've been saying this for years. 
I'm on the thing hit list too. You think I don't know that? The way I speak, the things I say, they hate me just as much as they hate Durov. You've seen it already, all these media hit pieces, the smear campaigns. They're laying the groundwork just like they did with Durov. They've tried to cancel me, they've tried to silence me, but here I am still standing. But make no mistake, I know the risks. They've been trying to find a way to come for me and they're gonna keep trying because I don't play by their fucking rules. But guess what, I don't give a fat. Let them come. Just like Durov, I'm not backing down. They want men like us scared, hiding, begging for mercy. But we won't bend. We'll keep building, keep rising, and they can't stop it. And if they do get me, if they manage to drag me into their bullshit charges, guess what? It'll just prove me right. They'll prove that they're terrified of men who are truly free. And in the end, that's all the validation I need. Durov's story is my story, your story. It's every man's story who refuses to be a slave to the fucking matrix.